In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 3 from Experience 12. You are conducting a study to see if the proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is significantly different from 69%. You use a significance level of alpha equal to 0.02. There's the hypotheses stated for you already, so we have a two-tailed test there. You obtain a sample size of n equal to 458 in which there are 343 successes. What is the p-value for this sample? So we'll use technology to find the p-value. Click on the tab for the proportion test. Put in the hypothesized proportion. Put in the number of successes and the sample size. And we want the two-tailed test probability. To four decimal places, we have 0 0.0064. With the graphing calculator, we hit STAT, go over to TESTS, and we pick one prop Z test, put in the hypothesized value of 0.69, and the number of successes, 343, the sample size, 458. Make sure you choose the two-tailed test choice there and then hit calculate and you see the second P there, the first P, um, second line there is the P value which is also 0 0.0064. So we want to compare P with alpha and you can tell by observation that P is less than alpha and when P is less than alpha then we reject the null hypothesis. When it's greater than we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So remember that in this, we were trying to see if the proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is significantly different from 0.69. Since we rejected the null hypothesis, that means we support the alternative, which is the original thing we were trying to see about. The proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is significantly different from 0.69. So we would say that there is sufficient evidence or that the sample data support the claim that the proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is different from 0.69. You could also say there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is different from 0.69. Um, the, there is not sufficient evidence that usually goes along with failing to reject the null. The first choice is not right because that's not really the claim. There is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is different from. Um, because the claim was that what we were trying to figure out, that was our claim, um, that it's different. So you got to identify the claim as being the statement uh, that you're really trying to see about in the thing. Sometimes it's the alternative, sometimes it's the null. But here, you know, it was a claim that this proportion was different from 0.69 and we were testing to see if that was right. 